All right then, my friends. So we've already seen now how to use this function, get docs, to get all the documents in a given collection. And we pass in a collection ref to that function. Now the collection ref we get by using the collection function, passing in the DB object as a first argument, and then specifying what collection we want a reference to. So we're using these functions individually, and we're importing those from the Firestore library. Okay, so this is the general pattern of how we're gonna be working with Firestore. So that's how to get documents. Now I wanna show you how we can add documents and delete documents. So to do this, I've already prepared a little bit of boilerplate code. Inside the index file, I've created two forms and an H2. So we have this H2, then we have a form right here with the class of add, and this is for adding a new document. Inside that, we have a label for the title and also an input for the title. Now the name of this field is title. And then we have a label for author and an input for author. And the name of this is author. We'll be using the name attributes to get the values of these two inputs later on in the JavaScript. Then we have a button to submit the form. We have also a form for deleting a document where we have a label for the document ID and an input field where we put in the document ID and it has a name attribute of ID. When we submit this form, we're going to use the ID value to query a particular document and delete it. So that's the boilerplate HTML, those two forms. This one with the class of add and this one with the class of delete. If we go to the index.js file, I've also added in a bit of JavaScript as well. So we have adding documents and deleting documents. The first thing I do is I store the add form inside this constant right here using the query selector. So we have a reference to that form and then I attach an event listener to the form the event is submit and we fire a function when we submit that form. And we take in the event object and we use that to prevent the default action. Remember, when we submit a form on an HTML page, the default action is that it refreshes the page and we don't want to do that. So we prevent that default action. And we do the same thing down here for the other form when we're trying to delete a document. We query that first of all and we store it inside this constant delete book form. Then we attach an event listener to that, submit event, fire a function, take an event object and prevent the default action. So it's inside this function right here that we want to add a new document by grabbing the values for the title and the author. And then down here, we want to delete a document from the Firestore collection by using this value right here, the ID. So let's start with adding documents. So the first thing we need to do is import a function to do this at the top. So I'm gonna to come to the top comment after the last import and then go to a new line because it's a new lecture and we're going to import the add docs function so oops not add docs add doc function so this is the function that we use to add a new document to a specific collection so down here all we need to do is use that function so inside this event listener function right here on the add book form we want to add doc and this takes in two arguments the first argument is a collection reference so the firestore knows what collection that we want to add a new document to because we might have multiple different collections now remember we already have a collection reference right here into the books collection so all i need to do is grab this constant and then paste it in down here as the first argument. The second argument is an object, and this object represents the new document that we want to add to that particular collection. And remember, the document has different fields. All we need to do is use properties and values for those fields. So our documents need a title property and also an author property. Now, all we need to do is grab those property values from our form. Remember, it's this input right here with the name of title and this one with the name of author. Now, we can do that easily in JavaScript. All we need to do is grab our form reference, which is stored in this constant, add book form. So we grab that, and then we can use dot notation to grab a specific input field inside that form by using the name attribute. So in this case, it would be title, and in this one, author. So I can say add book form dot title to get that title input field and then dot value to get the value inside that. So whatever a user has typed into it and I can do the same thing for the author add book form dot author dot value like so. So now we have this object with these two properties right here, title and author, and we're calling this function add doc. We're saying look into the books collection and add this as a new document inside there. So this will go out and do it for us. Now it's asynchronous and it will return a promise. So if we want to, we can tack on a then method, which is gonna fire a function 
once this is complete and then we can do something inside that function. Well, what I'd like to do is reset the form so that it empties the input fields for us and we can easily type in a new one. And to do that, we can use a reset method on the form reference. So grab that, paste it in, and then we can use a method on that called reset like so and invoke that. All right then. So let's give this a whirl in the browser. All right then, so let's give this a whirl. I'm gonna to go to the title and say The Way of Kings and put in Brandon Sanderson as the author. Click Add New Book and hopefully we'll see the form is reset. That means that it should have worked, but what I'm gonna do just to make sure is refresh and then this array right here should then be four because remember when we first load the page, we're performing that get request to get all of the documents from Firestore. So let me refresh and now we can see the array is four and if we open that up, we can see the way of kings right here inside that array. So that has worked. All right then, so now we're adding documents. The next step is to delete the documents. Now to do this, we're gonna need to import two more things. First of all, we need to import a function to delete a document and that is delete doc like so. But then also we need to import a function called doc. Now the doc function is similar to the collection function in that it gets us a reference. But this time, instead of getting us a reference to a collection, it gets us a reference to a doc because in order to delete a document, we need a reference to that document to say, look, this is the one we want to delete. All right. So we import those two functions right there. Okay, so down here inside this function, the first thing I want to do is get a reference to the documents that I want to delete. So I'll create a new constant and I'll say doc ref and I'll set that equal to the doc function and invoke it. So this is how we get a document reference. And this takes in three arguments. First of all, the database, much like we did with the collection function up here, we pass in the database, which is this, as a first argument. The second argument, again, is going to be the collection. So let me copy that and paste that in down here. And this time it has a third argument, which is going to be the ID of the document that we want to reference to inside that collection. Now, remember, we ask the user to input the ID into this input field. So all we need to do is grab the value of that input field. And we can do that the same way that we grab the values of these input fields. So let me come over here and let me say, delete book form, which is the reference to our form, and then the name of that input field, which is ID in this case, so dot ID dot value. And that gets us the ID that a user has entered in to that input field. So now we're storing that inside docref, and now we want to delete that document. So to do that, I can call the delete doc function like so, and all we need to do is pass in the docref like so and that goes out and it deletes that document now again this is asynchronous so i can tack on a then method if i want to to fire a function when it's complete when it's deleted it and all i want to do is reset the delete book form so let me grab that and paste it in here and then dot reset like so and invoke that function as well all right so let's save this now and see if it works Okay then, so I'm just gonna open up this array so we can grab the ID of one of these books. We'll just grab the Way of Kings one, the one I just added. So let me copy that ID right there. That's the item I want to delete, right? This book. So all I need to do is paste it inside here and then click on Delete Book. That should then get a reference to that document in Firestore with that ID and then it should delete it. So let's give this a whirl. Delete Book. And okay, it's cleared the form, which is a good sign. And now if we refresh, our new array in the console should be three. So let's have a look at that. Yep, we can see three now. And if we take a look, the one we just tried to delete, the Way of Kings, is no longer there. Awesome. So that, my friends, has worked. That's how we can add new books and also delete books.